What up boys and welcome back to another video. So in this video I'm going to talk about this question that I get asked almost on a daily basis and it's basically new, usually new people that are into gold farming, they farm transmog and they have no clue like which item they should vendor and which is worth putting up on the auction house. So they always ask me, yo student, do you have like a set limit where just like anything underneath, let's say a thousand gold, you just vendor and everything above a thousand gold you put on the auction house. And the answer to that is no, I don't. I used to have it when I was fairly new to the game. I basically just set myself a limit of, uh, I believe it was 500 gold at first. I just put everything above 500 gold market value on the auction house and vendored everything else. But I quickly realized that you can actually make a lot of fucking gold. Just selling these items, selling anywhere from like 200 gold to 500 gold. What's really important is to sell rate. I mean, I'm probably going to make more gold on selling a lot of items worth 500 gold than one item worth like 10,000 gold with a bad sell rate. Uh, so basically I take a look at the value and the sell rate. For instance, I wouldn't put up an item on the auction house worth 2,000 gold if it had a 0 0.01 sell rate, like daily sold. But I would put it up if it had like a 0 0.03 or above. And if you have a 5,000 gold item, I would probably put it up for 0 0.02 as well. So it just depends on both the value and the sell rate. I can show you guys some uh, some examples. We're gonna start off with the shitty items, like this one has a market value of right above 2,000 gold. Sell rate is 0 0.01. I know that this usually sells in this realm. But my old realm, it didn't sell. This has a sell rate of 0 0.01. I have eight of these on the auction house. If this was an item that I had no clue, I had no experience with this item, I probably wouldn't throw it on the auction house because 2,000 gold with a 0 0.01 drop chance. Sometimes it's as easy as taking a look at the item. Like, is it cool? Is there anything specific about it? You can even go on Wowhead and see if there's a lot of, like, same models, like items that look the same. And uh, this one wouldn't put it up so take a look you guys can see underneath the value it says reach and sale rate and reach and average daily sold that's the number you want to take a look at to get it with the market value right so low market value low sell rate throw the shit in the trash if it has a low value but high sell rate you can sell it so this one is a bad one usually that will be a no-go item then you have the glorious chest, also worth like right above 2,000 gold, but take a look at the sell rate. It's so much better. It actually has a really good sell rate, so this is definitely an item you want to keep. And then you have this one, worth like market value above 50,000 gold, but take a look at the sell rate, 0 0.02 sell rate. That's not good. It's not as bad as 0 0.01, but it's really bad. But just because the sole purpose that it has a high value, that might be the reason why the sell rate is bad. It's a pricey item, so not a lot of people are going to invest in an item such as this. So it's still worth to put it up on the auction house too. It might be a really rare item. There not be, might not be that many of them on the auction house, which is also going to affect the sell rate. So I would definitely put this one up on the auction house. And then you have the best items, such as this one. Really good market value and a really good sell rate i mean 0 0.08 sell rate on like an 80k uh this one on my realm is like 80k but it's like thirty thousand gold average that is really good because 0 0.08 is a good sell rate on such an expensive item and then you have farms such as island of thunder which drops a shit ton of transmog green transmog a lot of people made fun of me because the market value in like one hour was like three hundred thousand gold for me now it's down to like 180,000 gold because a lot of people have farmed it now but people laughed and I explained to them like in a, another video why they would sell because of the sell rate it doesn't matter if the items have like a 5 to 6k value when they have a 0 0.07 sell rate that means they sell so that is basically it hopefully this is going to help some of you guys out I mean this is a kind of you gotta you gotta feel this like it's really realm dependent and there's a lot of things to take in consideration but basically if you're worrying about like should i put this item on the auction house or should i just vendor it take a look at the value and the sell rate and this is going to be extremely individual like for me i have like 14 1500 auctions with like 50 million in the value on the auction house i might trash more items than you should because if you're new to the game if you haven't farmed that much you should literally just 
post items because they will sell. Don't get me wrong. Even though they had a, have a bad sell rate, they're probably going to sell in the end. So if you're new to it and you have like 50 auctions up, you should definitely post the items that I would normally vendor, like some of them at least. But uh, yeah, that is basically it. If you guys have any other questions you want me to make a video about and try and explain as well as I possibly can, make sure to leave them down below in the comment section. And if I find them interesting enough, if a lot of people upvote that question and there's a lot of interest around it, I will definitely make a video about it. And that is it. If you guys haven't already, you can always subscribe to my channel and leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And I will see you all in the next one. Until then, bye bye.